We know it from flocking birds, from fishes, swarm intelligence of fish, and even in human societies, we know it on the stock market, for example. Cooperativity in nature increases efficiency, boosts performance, and increases resilience. Our idea is to transfer the concept of cooperativity, which is well known from our daily life and experience, to the quantum world where completely new laws are present. We are controlling single atoms to almost perfection. And the question is whether nature comes with some surprises for us if we put together a lot of atoms. Now, if we want to transfer this concept to the quantum world, the first question we have is how quantum interference, how entanglement give rise to structures. So we want to explore at the interface of the two large fields in physics, which is light as uh, meaning optics and matter meaning condensed matter physics. Coco Lima stands for quantum cooperativity of light and matter. We have a consortium of three universities, Friedrich Alexander University of Erlangen-Nürnberg, University of Mainz, and University of the Saarland. Coco Lima is a volcano, and a volcano that is spitting out ideas and bringing it to other fields. Coco Lima joins scientists from quantum optics, but also from solid state physics. We go from model systems to condensed matter systems to real systems. The goal of Kukolima is to deconstruct quantum cooperativity in order to be able then to design a quantum cooperative behavior. We think that quantum cooperativity is really one of the resources for future quantum technologies. I'm working in the domain of quantum optics. We are coming, so to say, from a bottom-up approach, starting from two, three, four, five ions and see how this ensemble cooperative phenomena appear by scaling up. I'm an experimental physicist. I'm working in quantum optics. I'm trapping ions and they are not fully controlling everything. That's the aim of a quantum computer. We want to leave the system alone without disturbing and let it evolve into its own cooperative state. Our area of expertise in my group is nano-optics. We specialize in imaging individual molecules. We specialize in producing single photons that have quantum states in this consortium. Uh, we want to build on that and, uh, uh, and build up more complex systems. I'm a theoretical physicist. We try to explore some concept known from condensed matter physics and couple them to light. We in particular look at so-called frustrated systems. These are interacting systems where the interactions locally compete with, with each other. This interplay of competition leads to something new. I am a theoretical physicist. Our role within Kuko Lima is to contribute towards the establishment of the theory of quantum cooperativity and to study the role of interactions and noise at the quantum level in the onset of quantum networks. The value to my research of Kukulima is of course to bring this attention to quantum cooperativity in the community. Kukulima gives the unique opportunity uh, to work uh, with very different but uh, very complementary and synergetic expertise. Looking with very different perspectives on this particular problem is extremely fruitful, exactly what is needed to push the field forward. We have a graduate school of 30 doctoral researchers, plus associated uh, master students, bachelor students, and also postdoctoral researchers working in the field of Kukulima. It starts uh, really being a nice group of people and a successful group of people. I'm a PhD student uh, in second year of my PhDs. I'm, I'm very curious about um, studying the microscopic uh, phenomena like this light matter interactions. I'm a PhD student and I'm one year into my PhD. I'm a theoretical physicist and I work on dissipated quantum spin systems. I started my PhD half a year ago. My research interest is theoretical physics. I like to study trapped ions. We have so many professors and so many uh, sub-projects going on, so we have good collaborations and on top of this we have like summer schools and like uh, topical meetings. We encourage and support and we need diversity at every level, not only at the level of the science, 
We try to have people coming from different cultures, from different way of thinking. The first thing I noticed about Kukulima in one of the first seminars was how passionate all the other doctoral researchers are about their research. Due to Kukulima, we have a chance to meet and talk about interesting things, physics and also everything else. <laughs> We try to understand quantum cooperativity, exploiting entangled particles, and this is exactly the basis for quantum technology. The more we know, the more of a larger toolbox we have to make devices and apparatuses uh, based on them. Quantum technologies will have a big impact on many of us, but probably also in our daily life. We think that Kukulima can play an important role in this development.